Nobody can predict what happens next with 100% accuracy. It's, it's impossible. What everybody can do is protect themselves by preparing for any of a number of possibilities. So, like, when I talk about investing in gold and silver and Bitcoin or land, um, you, you put some of your financial assets, some of your money into some of those things, and you're not going to make as much money as if you, in the short term, as if you invested in Apple stock. Because right now, Apple stock's just shooting straight up. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how that's happening. Same thing with Tesla um, and the stock market, tech stocks in general right now. Bitcoin and gold and silver are going up very gradually, very gradually. Now, gold is at all-time highs, um, and silver and Bitcoin are, are at short-term highs, and they look very promising for the long term, right? Now, you're an idiot if you look at Apple shooting straight up like this, and you think that's sustainable. Uh, some, some of those stocks are really frothy right now, and people are pouring in like crazy, and they're shooting straight up. And... If you've been in the investment world for more than a few years, you'll know that if things are shooting straight up like that, they always just come crashing down. It's never sustainable. There are some very, very, very few cases of, of S-curves, so something shoots up and stays up, but it's not going to happen. Um, what are some other things going on in the world? Uh, mandatory mask laws, mandatory vaccinations. Look, it doesn't matter that there's scientific studies that say that cloth masks actually increase the chance of infection. Uh, with COVID-19. It doesn't matter um, that the vast majority of peer-reviewed science is on our side. Um, it doesn't matter. Politicians are going to keep making stupid laws. And they've all seen Tropic Thunder, so they must know that they're going full retard. And they must have a reason for it. Because if you're a politician, you don't go full retard without realizing that that's what you're doing and have, have some sort of reason. These people aren't stupid. Um, they might just be totally out of control. Uh, they might have printed $10 trillion out of thin air this year because they just don't know what else to do. Um, I guess that's a reason for going full retard, is being really desperate. Who knows? Um, what's going to happen with van mandatory vaccinations? They're going to they're gonna do it. They already, they're already making the flu vaccine mandatory in California. They made vaccinations totally mandatory for all school children in Massachusetts with no exemptions. And They're, they're doing a lot of stuff. If you go out on the street in Melbourne when it's not your shopping day without your mask on, you'll get violently attacked by the police. They're going to keep going at this for a little while. Um, maybe they didn't expect the amount of resistance they would get, but it doesn't really matter. Enough people support what's going on that they're just going to keep doing it for a while. So get your assets someplace safe. Get yourself someplace safe. Um, put yourself in a position where... If the stock market keeps shooting upwards and Bitcoin just crashes, you'll still be kind of safe. And the dollars keep shooting up, you'll still be safe. On the other hand, if the stock market crashes and Bitcoin and gold and silver go shooting up, you should still be safe then. Don't put yourself in a position where the future of your life depends on one specific outcome because you never know what's going to happen. You never know how far the global elites can take it. They might have gone full retard in this coronavirus thing because they're just so confident that they can pull it off. And maybe they actually can pull it off and turn the entire earth into a dystopian madhouse. Maybe they actually can do that. So you should prepare yourself for that eventuality as well. Be prepared for anything that might come your way. They say it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. So be that. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm supposed to say that at the end of videos.